What is up guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. The Season 1 Battle Pass is here guys. If you don't know already, there was a big update yesterday or earlier today as I'm recording this. And the new season is out. The season is live for multiplayer, ranked multiplayer and for Battle Royale. So we have all the season rewards for ranking up. But the battle pass was not revealed until just now. So there was a lot of questions uh, for the players that did not have early access or the soft launch countries. And they were scared that maybe they wouldn't have a chance to get the same stuff that we had on soft launch. Especially the ghost skin because it's pretty awesome. And uh, the ghost, all the ghost uh, G series gear, the backpack and the knife and the grenade. Well, good news you guys will have the same uh, weapon skins and the character skin, the ghost skin on the season one battle pass. But for the older players, they added a little bit more on the premium pass. So you're not just going to get the stuff that you already have. You are still going to get some other items. So I will buy the premium pass. And once again, I don't see a reason to buy the premium pass plus because it's pretty easy to get everything. So let's go 800 cut points for the season one. And uh, I got ghost and I don't know what's going to happen because I already have it. So do they give you uh, credits or something to compensate or you're just going to get duplicates? Like you cannot get duplicates. So hopefully they give you credits, but I don't think so. So you see, oh yeah, they did convert. I got 600, wow. So that will put me over 20,000 now. Now this is exactly what I was talking about. On the pre-season one, there was no wingsuit G series. There was a knife, the grenade and the skin, but this is new. So if you buy the season pass again, you're still gonna unlock stuff that you don't have. Now let's look at the battle pass and the rewards for season one. Now this is new at tier 10 you see there's a crate it's a battle pass crate but if you look at the content well it's stuff that we've seen before and some new stuff but the DLQ and the buy 15 red action they were in some uh, platinum crates earlier in the preseason well they are back in the crates here. Now you also got the type 25 April's full which is pretty epic the XPR April's full I mean, there's a bunch of cool stuff here. Uh, yellow snow weapons also, and a few uncommon skins. The chance to get epics in these crates are less than 1%. Now, if you keep scrolling, there's another crate at tier 20, another one at tier 25, another one at tier 30. So I'm guessing you're gonna get a bunch as you level up the tiers. So you have a chance to get some rare items, but like I said, it's very, very hard to find. Now another type of crate that you see on the free to play battle pass is the daily crate. It's the crates that you can get in the shop. I did talk about it on my previous video, but if you check the content, it's the one with Terrence Brooks. So these crates you get for free in login rewards, but you can also buy in the shop now and you will get more on the free to play battle pass. Now that is another item that was not on the preseason pass on the premium pass is uh, the operator skills for Battle Royale. You can also see the mechanic drone at 62. Now here we got a G series helicopter skin at tier 80. We got a super cool ghost frame. And we got the same reward at the end, the AK-47 red action and the type 25 pinstripe for the free to play battle pass. So if you didn't play in the preseason, you will have another chance to get these. And I'm guessing if you already have, they're gonna give you more credits. So you can buy skins in the shop with your credits. Now another change this season, at the end of the battle pass, every tier after 100, instead of getting credits, you get a brand new crate every time. Now is it better or not? Leave me a comment below and tell me what you think. Would you rather have a new crate every tier or credits to buy what you want in the shop? The season will last for 58 days. I thought it was 60 for some reason. And the game is going to launch October 1st in about four days. So I'm guessing you guys will have 54 days to complete the season pass. So yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Let me know if you're hyped for the new season. Are you going to buy the premium pass or not? Let me know in the comments. Now, once again, hit the like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty mobile videos. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.
The revived flight will arrive in one minute. Antelope here. Drop has been delivered. Dog tags have been scanned successfully. Your teammate will return to the battle when the next revive flight arrives. The last revive flight will arrive in one minute. Enemy spotted. Ship terminal is almost ready. Never mind. Enemy spotted. Only two teams left. Getting close to victory. The safe zone is collapsing. Enemy spotted. Come <laughs> on. 